This is Sean Higgins. I'm so excited about this video. What is a tax lien certificate? What a great question. There is so much money opportunity in there. We're gonna cover all that. By the time we get done with this video, not only will you know exactly what it is, but you'll know how you and your family can profit from it. And better yet, whether you wanna do this or not. Not everybody wants to make a bunch of money. A lot of people just wanna be able to just pay their bills and just get by and never really prosper out there. <laughs> I don't think so. You may be watching this video. So I'm gonna show you how to not only find financial security, lock it in for you and your family. So stick around, we'll do all that. Now, you're gonna love this video. So you might as well already hit the like button, hit the subscribe, so you and I can hang out more and more. It's the way I can continue to do these. It's just kind of my only indication to know that we're on the right track. Okay, so what is a tax lien certificate, okay? When I first heard about tax lien certificates was way back in the early 90s, and it, it's a first position lien on a property due to delinquent property taxes. And when I first heard that the county was paying 16%, I'm like, there's no way. Understand, I was in the financial industry at this point. I was working at New York Life, and we were taught, I was in the process of becoming a financial planner. I mean, my, my goal in life at that point was to sit with individuals and show them how to find retirement. I just didn't realize it was gonna take a left turn with this. And so when somebody told me that you could get 16% that was mandated by law from the county, I'm like, you know, Okay, you know, that doesn't make any sense. But then I, it just bothered me because this guy was so adamant about this. So I went down to the county, I was like, okay, this is making a lot of sense. Now understand, this is back in the day. We didn't have cell phones. The internet didn't exist at that point. Um, I had, just to get to the county building to understand this information, I had to walk in the snow barefoot, uphill both ways. <laughs> How do people do that anyways? I remember my dad used to have to walk to school every day five miles, and he used to tell me that. Then I saw that he actually really did, and I felt sorry for laughing at him. No, it was just we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have any of that stuff, so it took me a long time to figure out how this works. I mean, I'm working microfish. I'm reading up laws and stuff like that. So tax lien certificates, you know, what I figured out was that they're just delinquent taxes on property that people failed to pay. So when a property owner fails to pay their property taxes, and it happens all the time, people fail to pay their property taxes for whatever reason. I don't really care about that. How they got there is irrelevant. Here's the key. Because you and I are willing to put up the money for their delinquent taxes, you're helping the property owner up. Well, you're helping the property owner, right. Now think about this for a minute. If you and I weren't willing to give it to the county, what would the county have to do by law? Take the property. So by you and I, buying the taxes on the property to the county. In other words, giving the money to the county, and the county needs it. Roads, bridges, fire department, most importantly, is education. What we're doing is we're buying the property owner time. Okay, so think about this. When I put up the money to the county, I'm not dealing with the property owner. I'm also not buying a property. I don't even deal with any of that. All I've done was give the money to the county. The county gives me a certificate on a piece of paper that goes on file down at the county courthouse, a legal document, it says I'm the lien holder of record, and nothing, and I mean nothing can happen with that property until those taxes are paid, not to me, to the county. Now the county looks at and goes, okay, Sean's the lien holder of record, now they have to cut me a check for my full investment plus the interest rate. Get this, the interest rates are 12%, 16%, 18%, 25%, Thirty-six percent, depending on the municipality. I'm happy. Property owners happy because I bought them some time. And listen, nothing happens when I buy the tax lien certificate. It's not a ding against their credit. It doesn't affect their their financial statement. They just didn't pay their property taxes. The county said you can do whatever you want. Okay, but you eventually have to pay them because if they don't come in and pay it in the prescribed amount of time, which is called you might want to write this down a redemption period. Now that redemption period can be anywhere from, you know, like one year on the low side to say four years on the high side. So at the end of that time period, let's say for this example, it's three years. So I'm sitting there <whistles> waiting around. I don't have a tax lien or have a tax lien certificate. They haven't redeemed. I go, hey, listen, three years have come and gone. I call my workhorse. 
That's the county. Okay, property owners failed to pay off the property taxes. I am the lien holder of record and I would like to go ahead and, you got it, foreclose on the property. Now this is where it gets killer, okay? As the tax lien holder on the property, my position is a superior position to all liens and encumbrances, including banks, including seconds, including mechanics liens, including the dreaded IRS. You got that right. Okay, now I'm not sneaking up on that. All of the banks know this. They know if somebody's foreclosing on a property due to the legal property tax, they better come in and protect themselves. So if I start the foreclosure process, what I'm saying is, hey, everybody that's got a financial interest in this property, I am the county, okay? And I will foreclose on this property. And if somebody doesn't come in and pay these taxes plus the penalties, Within the next 60, 90, 120 days, whatever that time frame is in that jurisdiction, I can foreclose on the property, thus eliminating all liens and encumbrances. Now, make this clear. I will have eliminated all liens and encumbrances, thus owning the property free and clear. But let's get real. I didn't get you to tune into this so you can learn how to buy quarter million dollar properties okay, for a couple of years in back taxes. Some way, somehow, the property owner is probably going to figure out a way to come in and pay those property taxes or the bank or what have you. Who cares? Okay, I'm getting 18% on my money. I'm getting 20% on my money. I'm getting 24%. Look, that's the downside. The downside is you get your investment back plus a substantial interest rate. Boo-hoo. Could you imagine being at your Christmas party? How'd you do this year? Well, I got redeemed and only got 20%. <laughs> They're like, how did you do that? Well, it's a secret that only the club knows, okay? Because remember, don't share this with anybody. Don't tell anybody. This is, yours. this is your and my secret. No! There's 5,000 jurisdictions out there that offer that, okay? This is an abundance mentality on this. I could teach people how to do tax lien certificates until the cows come home. There are literally thousands, hundreds of thousands Millions and millions of taxing, literally. I do believe at one point there was $400 billion in the uncollected property taxes in the United States. Now that sounds like a lot, but in all reality, that's only about a half a percent of all property. So the United States property owners are real good about paying their property taxes. It's that little half a percent that you and I want to delve into. See, the county is obligated by law from the other property owners saying, hey, we're paying our property taxes. What's wrong with Charlie? I don't know if it's Bill or whatever. He's got to pay his property taxes too. But everybody has a down day. Let's not kick anybody while they're down. We're going to give them four years. We're going to give them three years, whatever the case is, so they can get back on their feet and make it happen. But to make sure it doesn't happen again, we're going to at, um, uh, uh, make it legal for a high interest rate on that. That ensures the county is going to get their money to you know, schools, roads, bridges, all the things that we enjoy when we're driving or just using the facilities within a county. Parks, recreation, the whole nine yards. If you look at it that way, not only do tax lien certificates, are they an ethical investment? Because if you don't like what a county is doing with the money, then go to another county. I mean, it's as simple as that. So if you don't like the way a county is investing the money, then go to the county next to it because it can be totally different. They're still paying 18%. They're still doing all that. It's up to you. You're not kicking anybody out of the property. You're buying them time, right? We figured that one out. So they win. The county wins because they, you know, schools, we win because schools, bridges, fire department, all that good stuff. And then you get this big fat interest check that are coming in. It's like printing money in your basement only legally, okay? Because you're, okay, let's, let's break it down this way. You send money to the government and they send you back what you sent them plus more. That's like printing your money, printing money in the basement legally. Okay, it's not a bad way to go. But you need to know several things. When is the sale? What's the interest rate? What's their redemption period? Um, how do I get registered for the auction? When does the list come out? What are some of the pitfalls? Okay, can I make a mistake? You're darn right you can. You don't buy a lien on a property just because it has a lien. The underlying value, the strength of this lien is the value of the property. You need to know every single one of those things. Fortunately, I've got a brand new course 
for you. This is free. Literally, we don't have time right now, but in this video, I take the time to methodically take you from A to Z on exactly how you and your family can profit big time with tax lien certificates. Hit the link down below. It's just HigginsMethod.com. Register in there, and my gift for registering is the free course. This is Sean Higgins saying God bless, good luck. See you on the other side.